Hello everybody, hope you're all okay. I'm going to read you a story today. Uh, this week we're learning all about different people who help us, but people who help us where we live in the community. So we've looked at doctors, we've looked at firefighters, we've looked at the police. Um, so those are all the emergency services. But what about people who help us every day? So um, I'm talking about shopkeepers, um, bin men or bin ladies, um, shelf stackers, teachers, um, there's lots of different people, lollipop men who help us day, every single day. So the first one we're going to talk about our shopkeepers so this is a story called dylan the shopkeeper this is dylan here he's a cute little dog okay and dylan is playing at being a shopkeeper there look so let's see what dylan gets up to in this story are you ready dylan the shopkeeper when it's a sunny day Dylan's ready to play. But what kind of day was it today? A sleepy do-nothing day? No way. Today, said Dylan, is a day for being a shopkeeper. So that all my friends can come and buy things. Dylan dived under his bed, rummaged around and found... A tail that went ding when you put money in it. Wow. He also found some brilliant things to sell. A cuddly toy with only one ear. An old bit of red string. Lots of odd socks and a couple of very old sticky toffees. Mm. What would you buy from Dylan's shop? I think I would buy the cuddly toy and an old sock. I could use the old sock to make a new ear for the cuddly toy. Dylan set up his shop and waited for people to come and buy things. <clears throat> oh, nobody came. Apart from some ants, and the ants went all around the socks, all around the socks, past the red string and all around the socks. But they didn't buy anything. Maybe Purple Puss will want to buy something, said Dylan. So he put everything into his trolley and took his shop to Purple Puss's house. This sign here says, please come to my shop. Oh, who do you think this is? Yep, it's Purple Puss. Purple Puss was busy making pom-poms. Look at my shop, said Dylan. Purple Puss was very excited. Oh, it's a shop. But she didn't buy anything. Hmm. Have you ever made a pom-pom? These are pom-poms. They're fluffy Little fluffy balls of fluff. I might put that on the thing on the on the website. How to make a pom a pom pom, so you can make some pom poms like Purple Puss. Okay. Instead, Purple Puss said, "I am going to have a shop too. I'm going to sell pom poms." Oh, oh, Dylan, what's the matter with Dylan? But having the shop was my idea, said Dylan. Oh, I want my tail to go ding when people buy things. Well, maybe Jolly Otter will buy something, said Purple Puss. So Dylan and Purple Puss packed up their shops. What would you sell if you had a shop? Oh, have a think. What would you sell? What would I sell if I had a shop? I like making cookies at home with my girls. They love to bake cookies. So I think I would sell cookies in my shop. What would you sell in yours? 
They went to see Jolly Otter. Jolly Otter was busy baking cakes with Titchy Chick. So this is Jolly Otter here in the hat. And this is Titchy Chick. That's really hard to say, actually. Can you say it? Titchy Chick. Titchy Chick. Titchy means little, small. So he's a small Titchy Chick. Chick. Okay. Look at our shops, said Dylan. Jolly Otter and Titchy Chick were very excited. Oh, it's shops. We love shops. We love going to shops and buying stuff from shops. But they didn't buy anything. Instead, Jolly Otter said, I'm going to have a shop too. I can sell my cakes. Oh, oh but, but, but having a shop was my idea, said Dylan. I want my till to go. Ding! When people buy things. Well, I'm sure people will come and buy things if we wait, said Jolly Otter. Look at Jolly Otter's beautiful cakes. They look really nice. So they waited and waited, but nobody came to buy anything. Jolly Otter's sign says, lovely cakes. Purple Pussy's sign says, pom pom shop. And Dylan's sign says, please come to my shop. It was Titchy Chick's nap time. So she fell asleep in Dylan's shop. On the sock pile, look. Then Purple Puss said, Oh, I really like cakes, Jolly Otter, but I haven't got any money. Can I buy all your cakes with pom-poms? Oh, of course, said Jolly Otter. Oh, I love pom-poms. Only if I can buy all of your pom-poms with my cakes. So they're using their things instead of money. Jolly Otter sold all of his cakes to Purple Puss. And Purple Puss sold all of her pom-poms to Jolly Otter. Dylan didn't sell anything to anyone. How's he feeling? Is he happy? Mm. He's not very happy, is he? But having a shop was my idea, said Dylan. I want my till to go ding when people buy things. Oh, poor Dylan. Just then, in swooped crotchety owl. That's another hard word to say. Crotchety. Crotchety owl. Crotchety means a little bit grumpy. <clears throat> An aunt tells me a new shop has opened, she said. I suppose it's just a load of old rubbish. She frowned at the cuddly toy with one ear missing and the old bit of red string <clears throat> and the pile of odd socks and the very old sticky toffees. <clears throat> Do you think she's going to buy anything? Do you think she will? Look at her face. Let's see. And she said, Just what I need. I'll buy the lot. And she handed Dylan a big, shiny coin. <gasps> Some money. Dylan was very excited. I got some money. Look at my money, everybody. I made some money in my shop. <sighs> he put the shiny coin in his till and it went ding. Ah, hooray. Well done, Dylan. Then a crotchety owl swooped away and Dylan took his shiny coin out of his till. Now I want to buy something, but, oh, there's nothing left, he said sadly. You've sold all your pom-poms and cakes to each other and, and Titchy Chick doesn't have a shop at all. Titchy Chick? Titchy Chick? Where is Titchy Chick? Uh-oh, do you know where Titchy Chick is? Oh no, said Dylan. Crotchety Owl must have bought her with everything from my shop. <gasps> they 
dashed off to Crotchety Owl's tree to get her back. Oh my gosh, run fast, run fast, Dylan. Crotchety Owl wasn't looking crotchety at all. She looked happy. Look at my tree, she said. The toffees were just the thing for holding up my string of sock bunting. I love my cuddly toy. And I adore, that's another word for love, adore my yellow pom-pom. Um, did Dylan have a yellow pom-pom in his shop? Have a look at the yellow pom-pom. Is it a pom-pom? Who is it? It's Digi Jig. Uh, but Owl, said Dylan, your yellow pom-pom is our friend, Digi Jig. We have to take her back. Owl looked really sad. Um, I could buy her back with my shiny coin, said Dylan. I suppose so, said Owl. But she was the prettiest thing in the tree. Oh, poor Owl, said Dylan. How can we cheer her up? We know what to do, said Purple Puss and Jolly Otter. What do you think they're going to do to cheer Owl up, to make her happy? What do you think? Let's see. A party, said Owl, with cakes and pom-poms. <gasps> wow! She gave such a happy hoot that she woke up Titchy Chick. Um, did you sell anything, Dylan? asked Titchy Chick. Yes, said Purple Puss and Jolly Otter. He was the best shopkeeper ever. Right. And that's the end. Oh, I hope you like that story. Why don't you set up a shop at home? You could borrow tins and packets of food from the cupboard. If you don't have a toy till, you could make one from an old box, some junk modelling. Um, and you can play shops with your grown-ups or your brothers and sisters. Send us some pictures of you playing shops with some money. Okay, we'd love to see them. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.